So what is an ND filter? What does it do and why would you need one? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be answering all three of those questions. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video and today we're talking all about ND filters and why they are so important if you're looking to take better photos and shoot better videos. So what is an ND filter? Well, this is an ND filter, stands for Neutral Density Filter. It's a small piece of darkened glass which screws on to the front of your lens. It's very similar to a pair of sunglasses for your eyes on a sunny day. It stops the sun or the light from getting in. Now they come in different sizes and strengths of darkness and some can even change from light to dark. These are called variable ND filters. But what does an ND filter actually do? Well, it is designed to reduce the amount of light getting into your camera, particularly on a sunny day like today. And this comes in really useful because it gives you much more control over your camera settings, specifically your exposure. But why is this so important and what does it all mean? Well, allow me to demonstrate. Okay, so I've set up a relatively common scenario here, okay? I've got my camera, I've got a beautiful backdrop, and I've got my focal point. Now, my focal point for the purpose of this demonstration is my shoe, because, well, why not? Now, I've set up my camera, and I'm happy with my composition, but what I'm not so happy with is how everything is in focus. See how the shoe is in focus, the backdrop is in focus. I want to try and isolate my subject more. Now, in order to capture that shallow depth of field, soft focus background look, I'm going to need to lower my aperture. The lower the aperture, the more out of focus the background will look. But lowering your aperture also lets in more light. So my image is now overexposed and looks terrible. I can, of course, lower my ISO, but this only goes down to 100 and it's still too bright. If only there was something that would stop light from getting into my camera. This is where the ND filter comes in. So with the ND filter on the front of my camera, it's now letting less light in, which means I can lower my aperture without it being overexposed. Here is the same shot twice, once with an ND filter and one without. And as you can see, the shot with the ND filter has allowed me to really blur out the background of this shot. So essentially what I've done is I've used the ND filter to get a shot with a shallow depth of field on a sunny day. 99% of the time that I'm using an ND filter, this is the reason why. But what else does an ND filter do? Well, for a start, it definitely helps protect your lens. If you're a little bit clumsy like me and you tend to drop your camera from time to time, this can definitely help you from scuffing or scratching your lens. Now, another very common use for an ND filter is to have more control over your shutter speed. So this comes in very useful if you're a photographer. Now, let's imagine for a second you wanted to take some long exposure photography. You know the kind I mean, blurry rivers, fast moving traffic. This style of photography requires you to have have your shutter open for longer. What does having your shutter open for longer mean? It means that more light will get in, too much light. An ND filter instantly solves that problem. So how much do they cost? Well, like most things, they vary in price and generally the more you pay, the better they are. Polar Pro are renowned for making really good ND filters. I'll put links to some that I recommend below. Now let's imagine for a second that you've got quite an expensive lens. Maybe it cost you 1,500 pounds, but then you go out and buy a really cheap 20 pound ND filter and put it on the front of your lens. It's a little bit like putting really cheap wheels on a Bentley. But that being said, I definitely think there's still a place for cheap ND filters, especially if you're using a cheap lens. If you've got a cheap lens, there's nothing wrong with putting a cheap ND filter on it, just like what I've done today. This is a very cheap Sony lens, 50 millimeter, cost around about 100 pounds. The ND filter that I've put on it cost around about 15 pounds. And as you can see, I've still managed to achieve that blurry background look. Is it the best set up ever? Absolutely not. But does it get the job done? Yes. So look, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, let me know, give it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, then you can do that by clicking over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.